The endpoints of directed line segment PQ have coordinates P, which is negative 7, comma, negative 5, and Q, which is 5, comma, 3. What are the coordinates of point A on line segment PQ that divide line segment PQ into a ratio of 1 to 3? This question is actually a similar triangle question in disguise. Even though you're asked to um, find a point that will partition a line segment into ratios of 1 to 3, this um, can be drawn in such a way where you're going to form similar triangles. Let's take a look how we can do that. So get into the habit of actually drawing things uh, in a ballpark manner and not in a super precise way. What I mean by this is try to uh, approach diagramming um, using like a back of the envelope approach. And what I mean by that is you do not need to draw a grid which is going to be like 100% accurate. So I'm going to draw myself something like this just to ballpark it. Okay. Negative 7, negative 5, right? I want to say that that's this point right there. And this is going to be 5, comma, 3. And I know that this is going to connect, forming that line. Uh, it doesn't matter where the line passes the x or y axes. You know, it, it really doesn't make a difference here. We're looking for point A that will partition the line into um, ratios of 1 to 3, where the left half is uh, 1 fourth the overall length and the right half is going to be uh, three fourths of the overall length. Where am I getting this four from? It says ratio of one to three, right? So how, again, just to an understanding of ratios is I can take a ratio and I can multiply this by, let's say n, right? So I can have n to the n to three n or here, let's not use n. Let's say 1 to 3 is the same thing as 2 to 6, which is the same thing as 3 to 9, which is also the same thing as n to 3n, right? So I don't know what that, I don't know what the length of the, um, the overall uh, length of, uh, of PQ is, but I do know that if I call this length right here n, this length on the right should be 3n or the overall length of the line segment is 4n. Okay, something else. Going from P to Q, okay, this is something that, that I do know. Going from P to Q, uh, horizontally, I will need to travel a distance of 12. How'd I get 12? Well, that's, um, all you got to do is just find a difference between the horizontal position of both points. I can do 5 minus negative 7 or take the absolute value of negative 7 minus 5. I will need to do the same and find the vertical component. I can find the vertical component, the, diff, the distance between P and Q in, in the vertical direction by doing 3 minus negative 5, which is 8. Okay. If I were to draw a line down right here, at point A, can you see that we actually end up with a pair of similar triangles? And the understanding is this, right? I have a, I have a small triangle here and then I have a bigger triangle here. So the bigger triangle and the smaller triangle are going to be similar because they share angle P. So I don't know what the um, I don't know what the uh, lengths are, okay? But I do know that PA, if that is a uh, has a side length of n, PQ must have a side length of four n. And I don't know what the horizontal uh, component is. If this is x, then that means this length over here uh, in the larger triangle must be four x. And the uh, vertical, uh, the height of the smaller triangle, right? Um, I don't know what that is. If that's y, then that means this length over here on the bigger triangle must be 4y. Well, the thing is, I do know what the larger triangle is. The larger triangle has a height of 
8, right? And what that would imply then is 4y will equal to 8. And I also know what the horizontal, uh, what the, um, the base of that bigger triangle is. That's 12, so I know that 4x therefore must equal to 12. Look at that, I have all the information I need to figure out what the horizontal and vertical components are of the smaller triangle. So y here is going to equal to 2 because I divide 8 by 4, and x will equal to 3 because I divide 12 by 4. So I have this. So I know that the smaller triangle is going to be, um, will have the dimensions of 3 to 4. So so what that would mean then is, okay, because the goal here is not to figure out the um, the dimensions of the small triangle. The goal is here is to figure out what is coordinate A. So to do that, right, I will need to travel from P to the right a horizontal distance of 3. And from P, I will need to travel a vertical distance of 4. I'm sorry, of 2. So what is that? So if P was negative 7, negative 5, A would be negative 7 plus 3, and the Y coordinate would be negative 5 plus 2. So what is the coordinate of A as a result? It would be negative 4, comma, negative 3. And that would be option 4. Negative 4, comma, negative 3. Mm -hmm.